Hello! Welcome to the intro for episode 127 of Podcast But Outside. Wow. And if you're Christian, happy, happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hope you're having a good Thanksgiving holiday if you are Christian and you do celebrate Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. This is the intro. We recorded it in The Bean, the Bean. In Chicago at The Bean with our friend Karsten Runquist, who is actually one of our friends. Popular YouTuber and movie reviewer. Movie guy. He's on all he's on all movies talking about them. He's on Letterboxd talking about movies, and he was great in this episode. Check out his YouTube videos. He reviews movies, and he also will solve hunger, he says, right? Yeah. Well, that was a promise he made to us, us personally. personally. He bought us lunch. And music this week is by Fizzle. He's an accountant in Des Moines, Iowa, and he says that he has never made music before. He's not a musician. He used GarageBand, but it's actually a pretty good theme song. And we thought, well, why not show you guys what someone with no musical talent can do so that if any of you want to make us a theme song, whether or not you have musical talent, you can email it at podcastbutoutside at gmail.com. I should make us a theme song. No, you have no talent, period. It's... Oh, you know what we need? We need a Christmas theme song. Okay. Or like a holiday theme We have a holiday song. special episode with a very special guest. Great episode this week. You're going to love it. You will. Some bonus stuff on Patreon, like always. Thanks for watching and listening to the show. Send it to a friend. That helps us. Write and review us on Apple Podcasts. Right. And Write and us. review us on Apple Podcasts. Write a letter on Apple Podcasts, five star, and a letter to us, and we will answer any question in hell. Yep. Okay, enjoy. See you soon. Bye. Podcast but outside. Podcast but outside. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. and welcome to, to Podcast, Podcast But Outside. Outside. My name is Andrew Michon. My name is Clorant. And, and if you never heard or watched our show before, the point of our show is for Clorant and I Hi. to set up a table What's on this? the sidewalk. You're giving us a dollar? Oh, oh no, we, we pay you, you a dollar. dollar. Yeah, Here come sit go. down. Yeah, yeah, she's just sitting down. We're, ex- we're tired, it's hot. She was about to give us a dollar. This is the whole point of this show. It's for Clarence and I to set up this table on the sidewalk, interview strangers who happen to be walking by. We have a sign on our table. It says, sorry, Hi. this part we have to do. Be a guest on our podcast. podcast we will, will pay, pay you one dollar. Smiley face. face. We're in Chicago. We're in front of the Bean. Bean. Where Chicago locals go every single day. And we um, are on tour right now from Los Angeles, and we're in Chicago traveling. And I'm hot and tired because it's the hottest day on record. And also, we, we just recorded for 10 minutes, and then we had to stop because the camera ran out of battery. So now we're starting again but she was not there before and now you're here now put on this stuff pour this water all over you and tell us your name my name's liz liz hi liz what's up nice to meet you guys what's nice your name you. uh andrew and clark okay yeah. are you visiting here or do you live here no i'm from michigan detroit from michigan detroit. we were just in we detroit, just in detroit. Were you? did you come to our live show no Fuck. Oh. <laughs> what are you all about liz Mm, what am I about? Well, it changes every day. Today it's about Was that your family down there or no? That's my family. Okay, I saw them looking over here. I was just going to say today's about family. Really? What's up with the family life? Well, there's a wedding this weekend. Really? Yeah. Who's mm-hmm. getting married? My cousin. Oh, you I happy know. for him or her? Yeah, it's going to be a good wedding, I think. It's going to be... Uh, well, here's the thing is I brought a really fancy dress and I thought it was a semi-formal to formal event. Mm. Can you speak more to the microphone please? Thank you so much Liz. It's not. Really? It's not. Uh-oh. No. It's a jeans and uh, like like sports shirt wedding. Huh. Mm. So I'm going to be overdressed but my dad always said it's better to be overdressed than underdressed. Have you ever been married? No. You Have wanna? you? Not yet. No. Do you want to be? Eventually. Anyone in particular or just kind of whoever? I haven't met anybody good enough okay. yet. So just okay. kind of whoever. What kind of people are you interested in? Interesting people. Interesting mm. people. Andrew's not interesting at no, all. No, no, no. Don't marry. Do not marry me. I'll say this. Yeah. It is not a good idea. Okay. Yeah. No, dead. An- anyone else? Yeah. I mean, you could even marry, marry him. You could marry him. You could marry him. You could marry her, the woman who has the baby. But do not marry me. I'll just say that. Fair. Um, are, what do you do? Are you in school? Mm-hmm. For what? I'm in grad school. I'm going to be a physician assistant. Oh, oh a PA. Mm-hmm. Uh, what kind of physicians do you want to assist? Uh, that's to be determined. Definitely not pediatrics. Oh, really? You hate babies? Uh, no, I don't. He hate used to be a baby. Yeah, I used to be one. 
I, I just find that a little bit insulting. Yeah, it's really rude. I mean, he's not anymore. He gave that up a long time ago. Yeah, but he used to be one. I and quit he, that lifestyle. He still identifies with it in a certain way. Here's the thing with babies: you can't have a full-blown conversation with babies, and I want my appointments to be like gossip hour. Oh, mm. you want to chat about what's up with life? Mm-hmm. Oh, so you got some gossip to spill? How about you spill it here? Yeah, you ever seen anyone? Go on. That's it. Do I, have I ever seen anybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, there's some there's some <laughs> gossip. Now, what's the juiciest? What's scoop? the juiciest scoop from the doctor's office that you probably legally can't tell us about? Mm, I can't tell you. But you got you can be vague though, no? Mm, no. We had a nurse on our show that was just kind of spilling everything the other day. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If she didn't give names, she's fine. Oh, okay. She, um, so you like gossip? Do you like gossip in your personal life? I'd say yeah. Yeah. Any gossip about your parents who I can see over there in the shade? Oh, that's not my parents. Oh, I think isn't that him? No. No, that's my uncle. Oh, uh, any gossip yeah. about him? Mm, none that I can think of. Not off the top of my head. Okay. Uh. Besides work, what are you most passionate about? Hobbies. Hobbies. All hobbies. You love hobbies. Oh, you You're guys. passionate about hobbies. Come back. Give us give in like two minutes. Come sit down. After her. We want to talk to both of you. Okay. As soon as she's done. Um, okay. Sorry. I'm You're sorry. Pa- no, it. that's okay. Just a father and son is kind of like the dream. I feel like it is. You're passionate about hobbies. Uh, what are your hobbies? Indoor plants right now. Indoor plants. That's my biggest one. I got okay. a lot. Do you but grow them or just buy a Well, I'm about to them. start growing some, but I do buy them a lot. Okay. Yeah. You're very calming, Liz. You think so? Big time. I get that a lot. I was freaking out earlier, and you're just calming me down. If you didn't want to be a physician's assistant, what would you? What would be d- your ideal job? A teacher. For kids. No. Adults. Yeah. You love adults. <laughs> you're a freak for adults. Yeah. Why adults? Conversation. You love to talk to people. Yeah. What age is your? F- how? What age are you? I'm 25. Us as well. All right, man. Okay. I gotta go. I'm so hungry. Oh, Liz, we're hungry too. All right, here you go. Give it up for Liz, everybody. Thanks, Liz. And seriously, do not marry me. Oh, your chips. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye. You, oh, I wanted to promise you wouldn't marry me, but whatever. Hey, father and son. Hey. Good. Hello. Come have a seat. Come have a seat. Man and boy. You're the second and third guests of the day. Um, so I would put that there, and I would put these on if you're comfortable. And I'd love to talk to you guys about life. Yeah, what is your name, man, and what is your name, boy? Uh, I'm Patrick. That Patrick. boy. I'm Jay. 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 Jay is man, awesome. Patrick is boy. Father and son? Yes, we are. That's great. How old are you, Patrick? I'm 13. Nice. Oh. And how long has, have you been his son? Uh, 13 years. Nice. Wow, so kind of original. Only just 13, though. Oh, when was Ooh. your birthday? September 9th. Happy oh. birthday to, to you. you. Are you going to have a bar mitzvah? No. Oh, okay. Do you want to? <laughs> no. Is that because you're not Jewish? Yeah. He can convert you. I'll convert you real Easily. quick. It, ta- it takes five seconds. Five seconds. <laughs> it would be a lot cooler if he was. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, where do you guys live? In Greenville, South Carolina. Oh, that's nice. Um, you're traveling up to Chicago. What brings you to town? Dead show. Oh, Grateful Dead? Yeah. You're taking your son to a Grateful Dead concert yeah, on the man. road? That's awesome. Oh. And are you into them, or are you kind of like, it's dad's thing? No, I, I'm into them. You're into them? Mm-hmm. I've seen, definitely seen a lot of gray-haired dads with teenage sons. Really? Oh. That's a thing? Wearing t-shirts. That is I feel like a bit of a cliche, but <laughs> is here funny. we are. How many times have you seen them in concert? Zero. Oh, my gosh. Been a fan all my life, and I never went to see them. So wow. here I am. Wow. It all changes today. Is this a gift for his 13th birthday? It is. So you're not from Chicago? No. South Greenville, South Carolina. Oh, that's right. That's right. Huh. That's right. That he's is good, He's paying attention. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he is. I'm not. I'm thinking about bar mitzvahs. Mine was awesome. Yeah, his was good. Okay, Greenville, South Carolina. And what do you do for work and life? Uh, I sell joint replacements. Oh, like oh for like stoners, stoners who lose who their smoke? like weed? Uh, that would be a lot cooler. But yeah. no, oh, okay. more like hip and knee replacements. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. But medical marijuana, maybe. I mean, I guess people could use that, but yeah, I, I don't sell that either. No, I know. So d- you sell them to doctors? To hospitals. Sorry, hospitals. Okay. So how many brands of joint replacements are there out there, and why are the ones you sell better? Oh, boy. Do I have to be at work today? No, I guess I'm just curious, like, (laughs) are you trying to, like, is that what you do? You call hospitals and say, like, ours are the best kind of a thing? Yeah. Huh. Mm. Ours are the best. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because we've got a robot to put them in. A robot does the surgery? Yeah, I mean, sort of. But it just places it in the exact right spot. Let's get back to the dead show, though. Let's not talk about work. Well, no, because it's an interesting job we've never heard about. 
And are you a fully original, 100% original joints, or do you have some robot ones? In your, in your body? Oh, me? No, I'm all original. You're all original? Okay, that's <laughs> gotcha. good. Okay. Sorry, sorry. That Jay was confusing. Jay is all original. <laughs> He's all 100% orig- natural, 100% Jay. 100% natural, I'm natural, I'm natural joints. I'm uninked, un- unaltered, unpierced. Uh, that's just, just me. And is it is it just uh, him as your son, or is there the other siblings? There's three more boys and a girl. Oh, my mm-hmm. gosh. How long did it take you to have the girl? Was she last? She was last. So you were just like, we really want a girl. <laughs> I mean, that's how it worked out. <laughs> would, you st- would you have stopped at five boys? I mean, I would have stopped at three boys, but, oh, you know, they just kept coming. <laughs> you kept coming. Wow. Are you the youngest? Or? No, I'm the third. Oh, you're the third. Okay. What are you passionate about? I play guitar and oh. drums. Oh, okay. So you like music a lot. Mm-hmm. So was the Grateful Dead his idea, this trip? I, it was kind of both of our idea. Hmm. I mean, he asked to go to the Dead show, and I started looking into it, and it coincided with his birthday, and it just kind of oh. all fell together. That's great. Huh. Okay, wait, are you here with the rest of your family, or just you guys? Just us. Whoa. That is so cool. Did any of the other siblings want to come? I don't know. We're going. We're going to see them in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is only two hours north of Greenville. A little, little in trip October, as well. In October, so we're going to take the other boys to that one. Okay. Oh um, my God! So this is your first Dead show, but it's going to set a new lifestyle of you of just going to them. Yeah, on their last tour ever. Oh, oh this is the last I'm tour. I'm a little bit late to it. Oh, <laughs> it's called something else, right? Isn't it called Dead and Company? Dead and Company, right? Because right. Jerry Garcia is no longer de- gratefully dead. Right. Hopefully, hopefully he's grateful. He looks like a YouTuber. He is, he is a YouTuber. A YouTuber. He yeah. is. You want to talk to him? He recognized him. Yeah. Come here. What's he, your name? He, he come sit down. Take Car- daddy's Karsten? spot. Karsten? Oh, yeah. Oh, you want him to take daddy's spot? That's yeah. mean. No, he's a, he's a fan of him. Him. Okay, you're a fan of his. All right, we got to yes. get into this. Or you can, you're welcome to Thank stay. You. You, just got, you, just got, you just got left in the dust by, <laughs> by, by, interesting. Okay, this is our friend Karsten Rundquist. Give it up for Karsten. Hey, Karsten. Hi. He's a are fan you? of yours. Wow, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm your new dad. <laughs> 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 It's Jacob, right? Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. Well, do you want him to be Jacob now? <laughs> yeah, he can be Jacob. Okay, you're ja- cool. under his daddy ship, you're Jacob. <laughs> All right. You watch a lot of YouTube? No, but I've just seen a few of your videos. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. You like movies? I do like movies. He reviews movies on YouTube. You know that? Yeah. Nice. Do you have a favorite movie he's reviewed? Or a favorite <laughs> review? No. What no. are your favorite movies, Jacob? My favorite movie is probably Shawshank Redemption. Ah. That's you a like good it? one. Yeah, I like that one. Really? Yeah. yeah. I never seen it. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. Okay. And what's your favorite movie? Actually, I wanted to ask you that. Uh, it's Fantastic Mr. Fox. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Favorite movie of all time? Fantastic Mr. Fox. It's a great movie. It's perfect. Huh. Yeah. So you like animated? Mm-hmm. Computers. Yeah. I like computers. That's cool. All that. It's a good movie. I only saw it once. Maybe I should rewatch it. Yeah. Yeah. Do his other movies stack up for you and uh, as some of your favorite movies? Uh, I uh, oh Wes Anderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. N- no, no, no. Okay, just that one, really. Just that one. Yeah. It's the only one. You don't like uh, the Darjeeling on. Nah, no, no. It's it's pretty. Mm. Huh. Yeah. I like What's that your one. least favorite movie? Um, <laughs> I actually just watched that new Addison Ray movie. He's oh, all she, that. Oh. She made a movie. It's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's, oh. it's pretty bad. Interesting. Um. Yeah. Are you gonna review it? I did review it. Yeah. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah. you already did. Yeah. Already yeah. ahead of it. Wow. So, the Shawshank Redemption is kind of an adult film. Uh, what yeah. are some other movies that you like? Uh, hmm. Or is that the only one you've seen? No, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I like know. A River Runs Through It. It's another good one. I've never seen that, no. I don't know what But the you've river reviewed runs it, right? Uh, yeah, I've reviewed it. Yeah, I've never seen it. Though. So, yeah. your reviews are kind of like just yeah. the name, basically? Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> yeah. try and. Yeah. What does a river run through? <laughs> a river runs through it. It's about these two brothers that live in Montana. Oh. Uh, mm, and kind like of just their story. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Huh. With Brad, Brad Pitt is in it, too. Uh, he's got three brothers, one sister. What do you think about that? Um, that's a lot of yeah, family. A lot of family. Yeah. Do you have a big family? Uh, no. Just, just one sister. One sister. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys also, all get do you, Oh, sorry. Do you, do you get along with your sister? Yeah, yeah. It was her birthday yesterday, actually. His yeah? birthday was a few days ago. Wow. Mm-hmm. we got to introduce him. So her birthday was yesterday. What, did you review a movie for her? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah Review the birthday. It was, <laughs> it was pretty good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did she like it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't know what you want to do, but you like to play guitar. Yeah, and drums. And you watch him on YouTube and no one else. Well, not really. But that, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Do you have right. other favorite YouTubers? No. Or people that you've seen? No, not really. Damn. Yeah. You just came across. You search for movies on YouTube. Yeah, sort of. I'm the first result when you search. That's great. Movies. The word movies. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're the first result when you search John Hamm. That's true. We just we're the that. second. We're the second. Oh, second. What's yeah. first? Uh, something with like uh, GQ or something like that. Nah. Yeah. You know John Hamm? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. He did the show. Oh, that's cool. He sat yeah. in that he exact seat. He sat right seat. there. He did sit right there. Or no. Yeah, no, he sat right there. Uh, he sat on your side. Yeah. Wow. Not long ago. Sorry. What? Uh, in April? Oh, cool. Look it up and you can find it. Uh, we're going to let you and your daddy get on your way, and I'm talking to you. Um, Are we? <laughs> Me, yeah. <laughs> no, we're going to let him and his daddy get on their way. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, thank you so much for sitting down. Yeah. We really do appreciate it. Um, have a great show tomorrow we, night. Thanks for your I know, I'm going to give him a sticker and a dollar. Thank you for your patience. Um, no, you have to. We have to. We, it's a big. We will flunk our, our class if we, uh, if we don't. Hey, we'll Here's school, yeah, thank you. Yeah, take care. We'll have a great night, you guys. Bye-bye. Bye guys. Enjoy the show. We've decided to tell everyone that we're in school. Because <laughs> it just makes it chiller. I believe it. Yeah. 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 Because then people don't think that there's a platform. They just think it's for school. And then they'll kind of tell mm-hmm. us about the people they murdered and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of the goal. Hey, Cole, I been meaning to ask you, can we take a break and think of a sponsor? I don't understand that. Bombas's mission is simple. To make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. So this holiday, when you gift Bombas to someone on your list, you're also giving them to someone in need. It's a give, give. I love giving and I love... Giving. Bombas. Oh. Bombas designed their socks, shirts, and underwear to be the clothes you can't wait to put on every day. Everything they make is soft, seamless, tagless, and has a luxuriously cozy feel. These are the best socks I've ever used in my entire life. And I concur. They sent each of us some socks. Uh huh. And then I liked them so much that I went and used our code and bought a, like oh, dozens more pairs of socks. Because they are just the best socks I've ever used. Not only that, but I have a friend who was looking for new socks. And I said, oh, these are the best socks ever. And I sent him the code. So the code's already been used multiple times before the ad has ever come out. Here's one of the pairs of socks that I got. These are tie-dye wool socks. They have wool ones that are just so supremely warm. And I got some awesome slippers. They're nice to wear around the house. And then look at that. Under the slipper. Bomba Bomba sock. sock. And they make, like I said earlier, they make t-shirts underwear, all sorts of stuff. They're made from super soft materials like merino wool, pima cotton, and even cashmere, which makes them the perfect cozy winter layers. Socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the three most requested clothing items at homeless shelters in that order, and that's why Bombas donates one for every item you buy. They're made to be the perfect gift and made to give back to those in need. So, happy giving. These are the best socks, underwear, and t-shirts I've ever seen. And slippers. And slippers, they got all sorts of stuff. It's a great gift, it's a great for yourself. So, go to bombas.com slash outside and get 20% off your first purchase like I did. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash outside for 20% off. Bombas.com slash outside. I honestly have like probably 30 pairs of Bombas socks now. All my other socks are done to me. Check out Bombas. Check out life. Thanks. Thanks, Bombas. Since you're listening to this show, I think it's safe to say you love listening to podcasts, oh, right? Yes. Well, you'll find a ton of binge-worthy podcasts, including ours on Amazon Music. Hey, I've heard of that because we're talking about it right now. Yes, Amazon Music has more than 10 million free podcast episodes to listen to, like, um, well, it's these are they're now saying other podcasts, but I don't like that. So mm. I'll just say like podcast, podcast but, but outside, outside, and also they have all, all the past episodes of podcast, podcast but, outside, but outside, all the future episodes of podcast, podcast but, but outside, outside will be on there. They got these, but those seem like our competition. Yeah, let's not say those. That's not good. But Amazon Music isn't just for listening to podcasts. Also, they have thousands of music stations and top playlists to stream for free. Mm-hmm. And no matter what you're listening to, you can go hands-free with Alexa. I wish I had an Alexa. I have Alexa. I've never met her. She's hot. Really? Yeah. The object is hot? Yeah. Like, it's like something's wrong with it? Like, it's hot <laughs> it's to the like, touch? It's like always, like, oh, burning me okay. when I try to I touch it. I think there's something wrong with that product. If you're like me and want your music on demand and ad-free, you have to try Amazon Music Unlimited. That gives you unlimited access to over 75 million songs, as well as podcasts, music videos, and more. I, I love it. I-, I rediscovered music recently. Mm-hmm. I've been checking out Future Islands. Olivia Rodrigo just released an album months and months ago, and people are done talking about it. Did but you hear Aliv- Olivia Rodrigo is teaming up with um, the Beatles? <laughs> To do what? <laughs> no one knows. Are you serious about that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Amazon Music is a great platform to listen to music. And if you've never tried Amazon Music Unlimited, now is a great time because for a limited time, new customers can try Amazon Music Unlimited free for three months. Holy crap. No credit card card. That's what they gave us. Yeah. That's the fl- that They gave us a three-month trial. So if you're getting the same deal, that is really good. You're basically podcast, but, but outside. outside. Yeah. No credit card required. Just go to Amazon.com slash outside pod. That's Amazon.com slash outside pod to try Amazon Music Unlimited free, free. for three, three. months. 
That's Amazon.com slash outside pod. Renews automatically, cancel anytime, terms apply. So Carson, how are you doing? You live in Chicago. I am. Yeah, I do. But 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 you walked by our, our show, show in LA. I, th- I believe did. it was our Tim Dillon episode. Yep. It was the last episode Bef- we filmed before the pandemic. Uh-huh. Wow. And you happened to walk by And you gave me a slice of pizza. I did give you a slice of pizza. I think I gave you one too. Oh well maybe I didn't. Well, this 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 no, no, no. This was after the show. He was walked after by the show. he oh. waved. I said hello, and then we ended, and then he came back. He said, I have this extra slice of pizza. Would you like some? And I think I ate one, and then I think Cam ate one. <laughs> I don't remember that part of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. because and then, and then people commented, like, is that Karsten? Mm-hmm. And I didn't know you because, no offense, I truly do not watch YouTube. I just don't. You don't watch movies. I, I don't even yeah. watch anything. No, I'm just a little <laughs> older, and I think I'm just, I wasn't raised mm-hmm. on YouTube. Um, so I didn't recognize you, but then I later found your stuff and follow you on Twitter, and that's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, full circle. Yeah, it all did came you put together. the sunscreen on? I did put the sunscreen okay. on, yeah. Does it look, am I already... You're a little red. I'm a little red. It's little hot. Red, but it's it might have been I'm from before blushing. you put the sunscreen yeah. on. It's the hottest day in Chicago on record. Yeah. yeah. I wore uh, my pants for So the Carson reviews movies on YouTube if you're not familiar. I watched some of your videos this morning, actually, and they were really wow. awesome. And you just succinctly described movies in a way that I think was very accessible. And people obviously like it. But you want to make movies yourself, right? I do. Yeah. That's cool. Hmm. Yeah. And then you want, because you want to review them? And then I want to review my own movie, yeah. I, more content. Yeah. yeah. You'd be like, I don't know what the uh, director intended here, but this movie's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it. Yeah. You also haven't even seen your own movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Film it and then I let someone else take care of yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Are there any like popular YouTubers who review movies they haven't seen? That's kind of a funny idea. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, whose movies? No, like, no. Like, oh, they don't watch the movies. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, a, yeah. That's, a, that's an interesting idea. I mean, idea. probably. That's an interesting idea. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, wait, what were you doing in L.A.? I was at, I was interning, well, I was there for a school program, okay. and I was interning at an agency, like, a block away from where you guys were. I was on my lunch break when I saw you guys. Oh, okay. And I went back and told everybody in the office about it. And they know who you guys are. They thought it was cool. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who, did, yeah. Are you allowed to say who you who it was for? Uh, I don't actually Ellen. know if I am. Ellen, right? Ellen, yeah, Ellen. Ellen, yeah. Ellen has an agency, yeah. and he was working there. I was working for Ellen. <laughs> well, <Yeah>. that's cool. <laughs> that's um, great. So are you doing YouTube full-time now? I am, yeah. That's great. That's my job. And you're out of college? I'm out of college. Great. That's awesome, that's man. That's amazing. We're so happy for you. Yeah. That's Very really cool. Thanks. Do yeah. you, did you just plan to stay here in Chicago? <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't like LA that much I'm not gonna yeah. lie it was kind of slimy you. well I had coffee with Carson this morning and I told him you know the thing about LA is when you're there as a visitor or when you're there for a couple months it's really hard to actually get an understanding of what it's like to live there mm-hmm. living there is yeah. very different than visiting you kind of get your neighborhood you have your friends who live close by it's a lot chiller than it is to visit but I, I understand your yeah. yeah but I will say being here for two days now I want to move back. No. It's the best city. I got to move best back. City. No, LA on. doesn't have a bean. We got to move so. back. <gasps> no. Or at least once a year, I say we bring the show here to the f- every fall and we s- live here for a year. A year? For, for, for a year. <laughs> every fall, we live here for a year. <laughs> every, we live here for the fall. I'll tell you what, I ain't living in Chicago. <laughs> what? You'd have to shoot me in the face <laughs> to bring me here. All right. Well, I will. <laughs> I heard a shooting last night, actually. I did too. My and now here? I and did. you want to live here? And you heard it, a shooting? That's what it's about. Uh, no. <laughs> that's what it's all about. No, it's no. I don't like that. Yeah. I'm I'm look, I'm weird. I don't like shootings. I'm weird like that. Huh. I'm kind of random. You are a little bit random. Yeah. That is kind of quirky. Thanks, dude. Uh, wait, so do you where which part of Chicago? Logan Square. Oh, that's a nice area. Yeah. Okay. It's hip. It is hip. It's real hip. I'm singing old, we're singing old town. It's not me. Yep. Yeah, well, a little bit. Nope. <laughs> I'm staying in Magmile, brother. I guess so. No one calls it the Magmile. I mag call it the Magmile, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Magnificent Mile, which actually I kept calling Miracle Mile because that's a neighborhood in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> but people told me it's Magnificent Mile. Mm. Yeah. So do you uh, ever talk to or uh, anything with Danny Gonzalez? Uh, no. no. I actually... <laughs> Danny doesn't know who I am. I mm. he, he was putting out applications for editors, I think, a year and a half ago, oh. and I applied to be it, and he didn't get back Interesting. to Interesting. He was just on our show. Really? Yeah, yeah he yeah. just did our oh. show. Last well, maybe he'll hear this now. Yeah, we'll see maybe. if he wants to get back to you. If you yeah. have a resume with you, I can uh, oh, yeah. send it to him. Shit. At the yeah. Sophie um. Tell Hotel. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're staying at the Sophie Tell Hotel, and they gave us a room, and you got to stay there if you come to Chicago. Uh-huh. It is actually a really nice hotel. Yeah. Sophie Tell Hotel, Magnificent Mile. Look at these hunks right here. Look at this hunk right here. Hunk! <laughs> hey hunk hey what's up man we need one hunk that guy was so hot he didn't want to do the show yeah i get it it is hot do you um, come on the pod? what's up i do yeah, want you to hop, hop on, on the, the pod. pod yeah yeah please 
Please, we need another white guy. Do you know him? <laughs> we really need another white guy. I don't know him. Okay. No. You're about to. <laughs> Get ready. Buckle up. What's your name? Josh. Josh, what are you all about? I'm all about Chicago right now. Came here from New York City. Oh. Hmm. How's, that, nice. how's that going? It's, it's hot. It's, yeah. Where's the wind at? It's the hottest day in, this, in the, in the run Where's record. the wind? That's a good question. Yeah. Where's the wind? Wait, what do you do in New York? I, I live in Queens, work for a doctor. So. Oh, what do doctor? you do for a doctor? I just do finance. Oh. Not, not like not Dr. A, Dre, like a regular doctor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Not, yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm not mixing up. <laughs> so, Wait. how you guys doing out here? Pretty you guys good. are in like direct sunlight. Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys couldn't find like a shade. It's a park. I tried to the set only, up in the the only shade. shaded spot is over there, but there's a security guard over there, so we were worried about it. Oh, why it's busting balls? Yeah, she was busting balls. How she? Um, wait, uh, do you work for a doctor? How do you like that? It's good. Yeah. yeah. And then we're gonna cut. We'll cut whatever your actual honest opinions are. <laughs> How do you actually like it? <laughs> it's good. How about you ask me what I think about the pizza here? What do you think about the pizza what do you here? What do you think about the pizza? You know, it's like pizza casserole. Oh yeah. Mm. Like, listen, they. So, what do you guys pride yourself on? Like, deep to it, but you also, I know you guys also say you do the thin crust too. Well. I guess I can claim that I live here. Uh, yeah, I pride myself on the deep dish. So, I like what's your favorite spot? Are you going to say Luminati's? No. Uh, I do love Lou's. I love Giordano's. Can um, you guys give me like an honest place so I can take my girl there later? You got a girl, dude? <laughs> yeah, she's going to get a high five on that. Yeah, my hands are so it's sweaty okay, right now. man. You got a girl. That's yeah, sick. I don't even know where she's at. She's probably being a tourist right now. So, are you from New York or you've been lived there for like what, three months? Oh, no, I've lived there my entire life. I know, you have an accent. It'd be funny <laughs> yeah. if you just moved there. Oh, it's so thick. I wonder how it sounds on the microphone. It's probably disgusting. <laughs> you want to shave your head? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Shave your head? Shave. Shave your head on the pod. There That's go. a good Thank idea. You. So you call Fuck it a pod. Hat. I like that. I like that yeah. familiarity there. Oh, yeah. I, I listen to pods. I like that. It's the one and only, not for sale. So I don't even think about it. So wait, you so you live in New York. So how did you get into finance at a doctor's office? It's like a very specific job. My dad's a doctor. So it's oh. Oh. Is, is it, it his your office? Dad? Yeah. So oh. just right place at the right time, I guess. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Always? Yeah. So actually, I'm in Chicago. So we're supposed to be down at a music festival in uh, Riot Atlanta. Fest? Oh no! No, uh, oh, imagine okay. in uh, in Atlanta, and there was like a hurricane or some shit coming through. Am I allowed to curse on here? Uh, y- well, y- you can, but you will go to hell. You will go to hell. <laughs> Fuck! I'm already there. I might yeah. as well. It's already hot here, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm getting right. used to it. So you're supposed to go to Atlanta, but then, as yeah. you say, a hurricane or some shit. A hurricane <laughs> or some shit, <laughs> tropical storm, what have you, came yeah, through. I that we remember. And had a lot diff- of people died. Yeah, and had different <laughs> different plans, so they canceled <laughs> the last minute. So I said, uh. Chicago it is. I've been trying to come here for a long time. Oh, so first mm-hmm. time. First time here. I already hit the pizza. Yeah, I'm staying. Yeah, that was the first night thing. I had to just do it. Get no, out wait, of the way. What, what did you eat? I got the Illuminati's. I got like the the original Lou or something. Okay. There's sausage in there. Yeah. Because I figured might as well go with. Yeah, classic. Full, I'm going like full tourist douchebag. You didn't bag like mode. it? I did like it. Oh, you did like not. it. You should try the Italian beef. Where? Oh, yeah. Al's beef? Al's beef is pretty good. Where's There's that It's called the Dog Stop. That's pretty good, too. Okay. We're in. Okay, we're staying like River North. So. Oh yeah, that's probably just go to an Owl's Beef. I'm telling you, the city's got, beautiful though. Yeah. It's got a vibe. What are some of your favorite movies? Oh fuck, that's like such a hard question. I know, <laughs> but we're hard hitting journalists. Yeah. Um. Well, how about I say what my favorite movie I've seen recently? Okay. Shang Chi. Shang Chi. You see that? I haven't seen it. That but I have reviewed it. Yeah. It's <laughs> <my laughs> really great. He reviews movies he hasn't seen. Really fantastic movie. You liked yeah. it? <laughs> yeah, I loved it. What was your favorite part? <laughs> the ending was oh yeah, really yeah. climactic. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was intense. Crazy it all third act. Yeah. 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 First act. Right. Got there. You yeah. got there. Now, what is this on? What is this pot on? Uh, this is first school project. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Hope you guys get it. At least Thank a B minus. Can you tell We're Mr. Ferguson to give us an A or go fuck himself? <laughs> Mr. Ferguson, give us an A or go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah. He's, it's our professor. And can and you flick him off for us? Say yeah. fuck you, Mr. Ferguson. Fuck you, Mr. Ferguson, hey, you fucking douchebag. This is great. I You're love awesome. your energy. <laughs> We're actually going to be in New York in October. Yeah, I got to bring that that New York trash vibe over here. Yeah, yeah. That is trashy. Need more trash. You think we're going to find some trashy people when we do this in New York? Oh yeah. Where this should we set up? Actually? There's some parts over in the city that are fucking dusty. Oh really? Yeah. Cool. But it's also beautiful too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, you guys are gonna go stay in the city? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. stay. Um, we're staying. In, we're staying in Greenpoint. We already have an Airbnb. Oh, sorry. Okay. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to hang out in Dumbo, Williamsburg. Yeah, 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 yeah. All we're that. Just trying to talk. Yeah, to I live in Astoria, Queens. It's oh, I know it. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do for fun? I go to raves. Wow. Go to what? Raves. Oh, raves. Concerts. Okay. Wow. I drink and I drink and eat. Astoria is like the place to do that. Have you ever been to Burning Man? No. Do you want to go? Yeah, you is, got tickets? It's dusty. 
<laughs> it is dusty. It is dusty there. Um, You're not wrong. I have been there once, but no, I don't have tickets. But um, that's like the rave. I mean, if you like raving, that's like, that's Mecca for you. Yeah. That's like your home. Is my girlfriend giving me dirty looks over there? Where's she at? Is that her? New York vibes? She's sitting alone on that, on that bench, pissed off. Yes. Is she from Queens? No. Long Island. Oh. That's where I'm from, too, actually. Long Island. Mm. Mm. It's like... How do I explain it? Different. Do you like Tim Dillon? Do you know him? Yeah, of course. He did this one. He did this podcast? Yeah. This is where he got his start? Yeah, he he was on... He was... Tim Tim Dillon did it. I actually just bought his concert tickets uh, yesterday. Tim is playing at the Beacon Theater. Tim is a friend. He's a friend of the pod? He did the show, and he was on the same episode as Tim, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, Tim is a wild man. Yeah. I figured you would like him. He's from Long Island. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, He's from, like, Nassau County. Mm -hmm. From Southern Question for you. Uh, If you weren't working for Dr. Daddy, Mm -hmm. what would you... What's your, like, ideal uh, thing? I'd like to be in event organized like i'd like to be work for festivals mm. festivals oh that's cool okay. ideally okay. i don't know what role i would have yeah but i i wouldn't it wouldn't just be me running around on drugs <laughs> but i'm also sure? yeah. so you're also down to do that mean tuesday <laughs> but you would do that for money right i would well, run around on drugs for money yeah. fuck yeah okay find me a career that could support that lifestyle. Well, okay i have a question for you so you probably make what x amount of money yeah, what's x. the minimum amount of money you would make to quit your job and your job is just to do drugs every weekend at a music festival <sighs> and they'll pay for your travel they pay for the drugs? Yes. Uh, I can do it. Like, what about living expenses? No, that's all on you. But they'll pay for the travel for all the festivals uh, and the drugs. Do it for like 60K a year. It's, it's not. They're not offering that. <laughs> they're offering 30. 30. But I guess I go to festivals every yes, weekend. Yes, every weekend. And they'll pay for your drugs. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> it was like half of what he's It's not a hard sell. <laughs> so said. now what's the deal with the Chicago hot dog? It's pretty good, yeah. I mean, I usually get it without the jalapenos. But they put jalapenos on it. Yeah, it's like a big pickle and jalapenos. Celery salt. Rel- yeah, celery salt. If I go, to, if I ask tomatoes. for ketchup, will they fuck it? Not that I would, but they if I did, I would. They I would wouldn't get, do that. They no. wouldn't do it. No, they don't do that. I asked for ketchup once, and they like gave me a look. Really? Yeah. Well, they're well, like really anti ketchup here. You know what? Yeah, they I'm, are, as I'm they should be. willing to say this, even though I am, you know, in Chicago, from Chicago, born and raised. I will say. <laughs> I need the ketchup on it. <laughs> do you bring your own then? Yeah, you got to bring your own. I do. <laughs> Put a little bottle of Heinz in your back pocket. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, why, yeah. that's why next to every hot dog stand is a guy yeah. selling tiny bottles of Heinz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and well, it's me. Well, listen, guys. This has been hey, fun. It's I great. want my fucking dollar. We'll give you yeah, a dollar. We'll give you What's dollar. your name one more dollar. time? I'm Josh. Josh, you're a great guest. Um, Thanks. We're actually doing a live show in New York. Maybe we'll see you there. So let me give a shout out to Long Island, New York. What do you want to say Ketamine about Tuesday. It? What do you want to say about Long Island to people who don't know about it? Uh, do better. <laughs> so that's your shout out? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Be better. All right. Uh, Thanks for sitting down. Also, New York pizza wins. So I just want to go on record and say that. Okay. Don't cut that part out. No. All right. Well, listen, guys. I hope uh, another- Hey, you're a great guest. You're a great guest. Thanks. I had yeah. to pull up. I actually just walked up and I was like, you know what? I got to do this. No, we're glad you It was yeah. awesome. What's your name again? Josh. Josh. Josh you, is a Are you guy. on Ketamine? You keep forgetting my name. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Man, I'm really going to miss you, Josh. I'm going to miss you guys, too. I'll be around here. All right. All right. I'm Look, do- at these I'm dogs. Doing- Look at these dogs. I'm sorry. doing, like, true tourist asshole shit today. Great. Yeah. yeah. Great, like, Josh. anywhere that there's, like, a landmark, I'm going to be there. Yeah. I think yeah. maybe okay. he wants to be on hey. the pod. See you later, man. Have be well. See ya. How you doing? Good. I'm actually with him, so I'm probably going to take him. Kidding. All right. We got this guy up in the mix. All right. I've been meaning to do this for a while now. Oh, my gosh. I've been meaning to know... Ad time. If you dread looking at your credit card statements, you're not alone. The weight of debt can be crippling, but Upstart can help you on your path to financial freedom. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Rather than looking at credit scores alone, Upstart considers other factors like your income, current employment, and credit history to find you a smarter rate for your loan. Loan. You can check your rate without impacting your credit score in minutes for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can even receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. So find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash outside. That's upstart.com slash outside. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. You want to try this? Mm-hmm. Just do super fast? Yep. 
Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. That was really good. You should go to upstart.com slash outside. Check out Upstart. Check out money. It's Thanksgiving week and DraftKings is the, the only official, official daily fantasy partner, partner of the NFL, NFL has, has your shot, shot to gobble up some winnings. New, New customers, customers can play free for millions with, with their first deposit. deposit. Nothing goes better with your turkey stuffing and pie than feasting on big cash prizes from DraftKings. So, so you, you don't, don't want to sleep, sleep on, on this offer. Playing daily fantasy football <laughs> is simple. Just, Just pick, pick up your lineup, lineup of, of NFL, NFL stars, stars while staying under the salary, salary cap, cap and score mm-hmm. enough points to bring, bring home cash. cash. Salary cap makes you think of celery root, which makes you think of Thanksgiving, which is what this is about. And with a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes, you'll have another reason to be thankful this year. DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. Best of all, you can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. Look, guys, this is a song, and it's just to tell you all about DraftKings. And you know what? It's the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. So you need to get your DraftKings on ASAP. And download the DraftKings app now and use promo code OUTSIDE outside to play free Free for for millions millions this Thanksgiving weekend. That's That's right. right. Enter Enter promo promo code OUTSIDE outside to get a free shot at millions millions in total prizes with your first First deposit. deposit. Only at DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restriction... Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. Download the DraftKings Draft app and use, use promo, promo code, code outside, outside to play free for millions this Thanksgiving weekend. weekend. You gotta play. It's fantasy, but it's actually money. So that's a fantasy for me. Cash Ola in your pocket. Let's, Let's get, get back, back to the bean. bean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Arson, hey, you're just here. You good? Yeah, yeah. I can I can take off. Anytime. No, no, you're good. Oh, oh right. he's plugging something. Oh, you have a stickers. Boulevard Bullies. Is this your podcast? I breed, I breed oh, you breed bulldogs? Hold yeah. on. You got to tell us about this. Yeah, I breed these French bulldogs. You breed French bulldogs? Yep. This one on the left is the Platinum Isabella Moreau, straight from Amsterdam. Whoa. 20 vans. Wait, what does that mean? $20,000. Oh, that's how much you sell them for? That's how much he is. I bought him for that. You bought him for that? He's worth more. Wait, so you breed them, but you also sell them? Yeah, yeah, I breed them and sell You the bought puppies. them to be the one that fucks the other ones and then yeah, makes this more. This is one of my studs, yeah. Oh, my okay. girlfriend's Whoa. stud, actually. Oh, really? Whoa. She charges like 3 to 5K to use them. To, oh, yeah, to, for him to fuck your dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. she gets $3,000 whenever he fucks someone's dog? Anytime. What if, what if, okay, well, how about this? Let's say he's just walking around, he just accidentally fucks someone's dog. No, no, Does no she accidents. then charge that person? There's no th- accidents. Okay. okay. They're very close to me all the time. <laughs> so they can't just accidentally fuck someone's nah. dog? Nah. Okay. The Frenchies, uh, you need someone, you gotta take them to the vet to breed. They can't naturally breed. Oh, really? Because they're mm. just so weirdly shaped? They're so shaped. small, their hips can't reach. Oh, right. oh my god. Yeah. Sometimes, randomly, they get stuck, but, like, they don't do that. They okay. seem so hot. Hi, guys. Yeah, they're pretty Does hot. he Are enjoy okay? fucking, or is it just work for him? Huh? Does he enjoy fucking or is it Dude, just work for him? Dude, this thing wakes up trying to hump. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. But yeah, I'm from Las Vegas. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, they, yeah. they came all the way from Vegas? Yep. Hi, what, what are are they here to fuck or just <laughs> for fun? They're supposed to stay They're here there. for fun. My girlfriend's here to model. <laughs> She's here oh, to model? She's here to model. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Keep, keep talking for a second, brother. You want brother. to come up here? <laughs> she doesn't want she doesn't to come want up here. Okay, we can let you go, but these dogs are awesome. And That's Mr. Solo. This Mr. Solo. And this is Bella. Is Mr. Solo, does he just masturbate? And which one fucks more? Okay. So in six months, she's going to have a litter. Oh, she's going to have a litter. He's open to fuck all day. Is he going to fuck her and make no, a litter? No, no, they're both Merles. You can't do Merle to Merle. Okay. Oh, really? Wait, oh, that's... Yeah. Well, I mean, in some states you can. Yeah. Well, Merle Wait. to Merle, uh, they come out deaf and blind. Oh, really? So we don't do that. <laughs> it's oh. like incest? Yeah. Wait, because Merle is such a small lineage it's or something? It's just the color. So the colors, if you match Merle with Merle, it's a no-go. You okay. don't do that. <laughs> is his name Mr. Solo because he masturbates too? Nah. <laughs> okay. Nah. <laughs> Shit, but, uh, man. Thanks. Well, hey, we're going to give you a dollar and a sticker. Thanks for telling us all about how much your dogs fuck. That straight was from straight from Las Vegas. All right, hey, give it up. Wait, I already gave him a dollar. Oh. oh. Give that back. Yeah, there we go. Okay, hey, go. hey, have a good day. Good luck with your dogs. See you guys. Happy fucking. <laughs> By the way, I am so glad that she didn't see because really quickly that dog did fuck me. And yeah, I was afraid oh. she was going to charge me $3,000. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because <laughs> it's like that.
<laughs> you got a free fuck. Congratulations. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Because you usually do have to pay, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because every time a dog has fucked me like that, I do have to pay like three to 5000 <laughs> <laughs> But the fact that it happened just like so covertly is awesome. Hey, that's the, yeah. that's the glory of Chicago. Are there any movies with full-on animal sex? Oh, God. Um, not that I can... I wonder if it's think. illegal. There's gotta, I mean, Planet Earth, probably. Planet Earth. But... Uh, the like, because there's so many weird, you know, avant-garde filmmakers out there, you know? Yeah. Did you see Climax? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Climax is crazy. one of my favorite movies. It's top four, yeah. I, I watched it's Enter uh, the Void and oh, yeah. his previous movie, and that was a really rough movie to watch. Yeah. Did you see Love? I didn't see Love. It's the one with all the sex. I know. It's a lot of that in there. Yeah. I know. Hmm. His movies are very intense. And Climax I did like, but it was very... I watched, it in the, I watched both Climax and Enter the Void in theaters. Very stressful. Yeah. Not yeah. fun times, no. Yeah. No. But. So do you have a favorite director? Uh, it's... Um, damn. Pro- probably uh, Yorgos Lanthimos. Me he too. Did, he did. You, you like yeah. him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we talked we about, talked about, about of Killing a of a Sacred Deer. deer my yeah. favorite movie of the year. Hey, hey, how are you? Pretty good. good. That's okay. That's okay. You can do it, guys. Hey, good. good. Hey. hey. Of course. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we I'm already man. have a, a guy with a mustache, but we can do another. Oh, no, it's Why okay. do you look so familiar? Bones you look familiar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not from here. Where are you from? Uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, it says it on the hat. Yeah. yeah that's, says, we yeah, were just talking to someone from yeah. Charleston, no? <laughs> really? The father and son. Yeah. No way. Do you know awesome. them? No, I don't. I don't. I'm here. I'm here with my brother over. He he lives here. Yeah, they're sitting on the bench over there. That's oh, my nice. girlfriend right next. Oh, to you got a girlfriend too? Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, cool, cool. We're we're here for the Dead and Company show. Yeah. Wait, so. the other the father and son from Charleston are also here for the Dead and Company show. That's I'm crazy. not kidding. Wow. That's crazy. That is so wow. weird. Yeah, I, I don't know them. I do not know. I them. hope you meet them. That is so funny. So what is this whole thing? Like, what do you guys? Uh, we we have bulldogs fuck each other and then <laughs> um, right on. we talk about it. Cool, yeah. cool. Here's our sticker. No, nice. um, we just talk to strangers on the street. Yeah. Awesome. What do you what do you do? Uh, so I work for this company right here. It's called Tidal Wave Water Sports. Um, I'm a parasail mate. So you mate with people on parasails? Sort of. Yeah. I like I um I guess I uh, I'm like the one who inflates the chute and deflates the chute, and I like talk to them and I harness them up and hook them up to the chute. I'm out on the boat all day. And cool. So you're like a skydive instructor, but for that sport, for basically. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Take pictures of them. I'm I'm a photography minor at uh, College of Charleston. So I take pictures of them and stuff like that too. Wait, a parasail is that's the one on the boat, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We take you off in the back. I've done that once. There. Yeah, it's cool. I've done that, and they did the thing where they like dip my feet in the water. Yeah, exactly. And then take me back up. Do yeah. you do that? Yep. Cool. It's everyone's favorite part. Do you Bye. like parasailing as a thing? Or are you over so? It? I, I I'm actually <laughs> I'm actually really scared of heights. I'm like I don't really enjoy going up just because I'm super scared mm. of heights. Like getting on planes and stuff like that. Like the plane out he- ride out here was. Pretty, pretty nerve-wracking. That was my second time ever being on a plane. You've been on a plane only twice? Twice, yeah. Oh, there we go. Hat. Perfect. Yeah, only twice. Wow. Um, so you spent a lot of time in Charleston, then I take it. Yeah, I'm, I'm originally from Hilton Head, South okay. Carolina, which is a little island right down. Have you had any uh, crazy accidents or incidents parasailing? Uh, yeah, actually, this year was the first time I ever had an accident. <laughs> what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah, we outside. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the first year I've been doing it for three years. This is the first year I had an accident. We f- took these girls off the back of the boat. Crazy gust of wind came in from the west, and they just like did a huge corkscrew in midair. Oh my went god! Completely up over the chute, smacked down in the water. I dove in, had the like life jacket on, and everything. Yeah, I have to be like CPR certified. Sure, sure. Lifeguard certified. So. I hopped in, got to them, and they were like laughing completely fine, oh like God. nothing. Oh. The only thing that happened was they lost their hat and they got their ear piercings like ripped out of them. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. It, yeah. yeah, it was <laughs> bad. Like they were fine. Like they were a little bruised up, but like the uh, we in, we got the chute back on the boat, Jeez. untangled it, inflated oh. it again, and they w- they we went back up. Flying, uh, yeah, Whoa. we flew them again. And they didn't fine. try to like cancel you or anything. No, they well they did actually. The mom <laughs> called us back like a, a week later and was like. So, like, the girls are feeling a little, you know, right. their, their heads hurt and oh, stuff. No. And, like, they, they've got some bruises, and we tried to go get the ear piercing replaced, like, and we had to drive, like, hours in the rain, and we were like... That has nothing to do with you, really. Yeah, like, why is that our fault, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it's, you know, we, we deal with, cra- I, like, it's the customer service industry, sure. tourism on a boat, like, a lot people of, turn yeah. their brains off sure. all the time. So, did you have to give them a stuff. refund or something? Uh, yeah, we just refunded them just to, like... Yeah, of course. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, wow. yeah, we deal with that stuff all the time. Was there, like, a viral video of that, or no? No, no. Okay, they, I thought I saw something similar. First time ever, though, 
there was a viral video of somebody parasailing, got bit by a shark while they were doing the dip in the water in like in like Dubai. Oh yeah. my god! Crazy video. We got like so many questions about that on the boat. Whoa. They just yeah. dipped and went. Dipped and like a shark came up right there. Like it, we people ask that question all the time, and I always tell them it has never happened in the history of parasailing. <laughs> now you have to say it happened once. Yeah, now it happened once, and like Wait, there's video did it, proof. Did it bite or anything? It or bite the guy's leg. Yeah. Like a chunk. Messed out of him it? up. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. So what do you think that shark was watching and waiting? I have no idea. I bet I don't think so. I bet they came out right as it was there and it freaked it out right and just like got scared reacted yeah wow what are the chances how long is the dip 20 seconds at most 15 20 wow. seconds at yeah. most i my parasail captain this was like a really like kind of hothead captain from key west and he like loves to like drag people through the water so he'll like he'll like dip the shit out of people for yeah it's, 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 love, you know? yeah I, dude it, whatever makes you you're on that boat for 12 hours a day the little things like make the day go a little quicker you know wow. and he loves dipping people in the water i guess so yeah. that's so his thing he. so does he yeah, yeah, so does he. yeah. yeah. he does it he does it at church so it's like right. a baptism <laughs> my job um are you do you love what you do i love what i do yeah yeah, yeah I'm, I'm actually the company tidal wave there they if you give them two years of commitment they pay for your c school if you decide to get your captain's Ooh, license that's what i'm doing C-school. so you want to yeah. do this professionally yeah i'm in i'm in my senior year of college at college of charleston and afterwards i'm gonna do my c school and everything like okay. that that's so awesome. like, what's the ultimate goal with c school become a parasail captain that's Got where the, that's where okay. the money's at for the same company or your own company or who hopefully knows? my own wow. but i have to start you have to start sure, somewhere. sure yeah and do you do other water sports or just that i started off um I taught a paddleboard yoga class oh, okay. and like that was my thing back in Hilton Head until I got to college and then I switched to the parasail mate and awesome. just been wow. doing that since I've been in school. That's great. You're yeah. an active outdoorsy guy. Yeah, it's cool. It's and a good time. That's great. Well, we want to say thanks for sitting yeah. down. You're an awesome that, guys. guest. Thanks yeah. for all the information. And what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Yeah. I was actually asked this question yesterday, uh, Saving Private Ryan. I asked it to him yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think of that movie? Um, I've actually never seen that movie. What? But what you reviewed? But it's right? a classic. <laughs> it's, it's one of the greatest. And what's, what's your review of it? Um, you know, it's really dark. Yeah. It's really, yeah, 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 it it's is really it dark. Is. Yeah, he it's cool reviews though. movies. Yeah. Yeah. But he hasn't seen. Okay. I haven't seen him yet. Yeah. So you can gotcha. You can check one. him out on YouTube. Yeah, yeah he's, he's on YouTube. Awesome. Karsten Runquist. Okay, All here's right, a dollar sticker. Thanks for taking some time, man. Thank you. And dude, congrats on the girlfriend once more. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Guy's got a girlfriend. Yeah. That's so cool. Oh. I feel like you have to become a famous director because yeah, I your agree. name Karsten Runquist is like it sounds. It yeah. sounds like it's like. Yeah, yeah it just sounds like it. If you there's art behind it. If you don't become a famous director, like you're a waste of your name. Yeah, you that's know? what my family told me. I mean, uh, you. S- I mean, and we all know who your favorite director is, and I think the only reason you like him is because of his name, right? Your yeah, it's the most? really fun. Yeah, that's really it's it. fun to say. So Karsten Runquist, you gotta just blow up yeah 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 yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah we're good i feel like that's well I'll probably good. check I feel yeah, like i was gonna say i'm gonna dip out you're, gonna dip out? you're, you're gonna ending dip out. the whole thing i guess i guess we'll just yeah. end it all i mean it'd be cool to talk to one more woman because the only girl we talked to was just real quiet was what quiet oh yeah i didn't hear what she was saying yeah she was a little bit of a quiet but she had a calm energy and yeah. i hope that i get sick and have to go to her doctor's office me too because she will do a really good job i really hope you get sick dude i don't hope that i hope no, no, no. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. mind it. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, you I wouldn't I love these people and then we'll end it with them hopefully. You guys want to sit down? No race. All right. Can we interview your cat? <laughs> what? She's a cat in the bag. You have a cat? You got a cut on your foot today, Andrew. Dude, said. I got sliced up yesterday like crazy. Yeah. I went swimming in Chicago in the Chicago River. It's those Chicago sharks. <laughs> and no, I, w- I did go I went swimming in the Lake um, Michigan or whatever. And I went swimming with Cam. We had our day off. It was awesome. Me and him just had a great day in the city. And then somehow getting out of the water, I like climbed up on this this like this little pier. And I don't know what happened, but I didn't feel anything. And then I got out of the water, and then I had like five deep cuts on my foot that were all gushing blood. It was like someone attached razor blades to something. Yeah. Anyway, I'm okay. It was me. But my job is <laughs> my job is to walk around the city. Cold all the time. tapes, razor blades to the fish. Yeah. And they really? Go to the seaweed. Yeah. It was a fishing yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought you were hanging out with your brother all day. Yeah. Re- oh, you That's did. That's what we do. All right. <laughs> well, it sucked for me. Um, That's what. That's Chicago. That's what it's about. Well, that is what Chicago is about. It's a nice city to be in. And Karsten, you're a nice guy to talk to. Thanks. I'm glad we finally got that interview because we almost didn't. 
Yeah. Last, last interview? Last, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, just last time, and it didn't work out. Yeah. And this time it did. Tim mm-hmm. Dillon beat me to it. Check out Carson's stuff on YouTube. He reviews movies he watches, like, that month. He reviews new movies that come out and just random movies that he wants yeah. to And movies talk about. he doesn't watch. Yeah, I don't I don't watch all of them. Yet. Oh, that's true. Most of them he hasn't watched. But his reviews are very succinct and well put, and um, yeah. I like them. Well, thanks, guys. Well, no, Thank you're, you. Yeah, you guys you're not, around. You're not. No, no. I'm not. No, no. You're here, brother. Right. We're ending this together. Okay. Okay. Hey man, uh, how are you? you? Wanna, uh, can you just hat? wave? Oh can yeah. You, can you just yeah. wave at the camera for us? Thank Episode's you. over. All right. Oh, see you. So hot. See you guys. Oh, see you guys. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Can you guys wave at the camera real quick? <laughs> and say episode is over. Okay. See you guys. <laughs> Good night. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> what was up with all those dogs? You mean the bulldogs or like me and Carson? No, the bulldog. We the dog. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 the bulldogs. We actually went and met up with those bulldogs later, and they're actually a lot cooler in person. Yeah, they fucked us. What? What? I mean, we paid for it. It's not like we stole a free fuck. Dude, you told me. What? You told me, dude. To- told you what? You told me. Yeah, those dogs definitely fucked us, and um, it was actually pretty fun, and we are both pregnant with bulldogs. And if you want to buy one of our bulldogs, email Hi. at bulldog pod, um, what no, it's podcast bulldog babies at hotmail, and that's m a l e dot com. Yeah, and then I have my personal one. It's uh, pregnant boy bull at <laughs> pregnant boy bulldog at, at podcast dot net. Podcast dot <laughs> No. Net. No, actually, for me, no, it's it's actually podcast.nothingbutnet. It's a basketball thing. Okay. They should have nothingbutnet.com instead yeah. of net.com. That would be cool. That's a good idea. Yeah. Anyway, there's a free idea for you guys to get rich on, freaking slime balls. Mm-hmm. All right. Have All a good right. happy holiday. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. If you're in America, it's time for you to stuff your body with a dog like we did. See you next week. We're gonna pop. (laughs) Podcast but outside. Say fuck you, Mr. Ferguson. Fuck you, Mr. Ferguson, hey, you fucking douchebag. This is great. I love awesome. your energy. 